Hello again, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wassman, and today in our studies in Unit 5, we are taking a break from adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers to take a look at symmetry. Now, symmetry is one of those concepts that we will uh, return to periodically in math because it uh, is a very important aspect of uh, geometry. Uh, we're in our math journal on page 184 on a page simply entitled Shapes. And uh, just as a refresher, if uh, you forget what symmetry is, symmetry is basically when you have a figure uh, that can be drawn by dividing it into two parts that are mirror images of each other. Uh, the two parts look alike, but they face opposite directions. So, for example, if I were to say, oh, I don't know, draw a square like so, or let's say a rectangle, uh, and I were to cut it in half of the line, like so, my line isn't the, the straightest, of course, but you get the gist, um, the side on the left here should be a mirror image of the side on the right meaning that the two halves that have been divided by the line of symmetry, each should be symmetrical, okay? Um, rectangles, of course, have two lines of symmetry. You can do a vertical line that cuts them into two halves, or you can do a horizontal line that cuts them into two halves, like so. Now, with these figures that we have here, we're going to be looking for some symmetry. Uh, and the first four problems ask you to uh, identify the letter based on just the shape of one half of it. Okay? So you, it's kind of like a guessing game. It says, guess what the letter is, then draw the other half of the letter. Okay? Now, I know that sometimes kids, uh, when they are asked to uh, repeat something or draw uh, the second half of a symmetrical object, the temptation is to draw exactly what you see. Like, for example, for number one, the temptation is to draw what you see like so. That is not symmetrical. You have duplicated what you see on the left-hand side, uh, but you have not created a symmetrical uh, figure. So what we need to do is first erase that. And then we have to work opposite, okay? so. Starting with the uh, the midline of symmetry, I'm going to start at that point in the center, and I'm going to draw a line that connects to the top right point, and then I'm going to draw a vertical line that joins the three points up and down, and what do you know? We have the letter M. So if I rewrite the letter M, M is symmetrical, at least vertically. Now, if I were to try to cut this shape apart horizontally, it would not be symmetrical because I don't have an angle uh, that meets in the middle like we do at the top. Okay, so that is not symmetrical. Uh, let's take a look at uh, number three. As you're looking at the one half of the shape, can you guess what letter we're talking about? Oh, I bet you can because as soon as I draw the corresponding line from the top center point down to the bottom right. You're going to see that it's the letter A. Okay, let's move on to something a little bit more trickier. Okay, so numbers 5 through 8 ask us to draw the other half of each symmetrical shape below. So I'm going to do number 6 right here. And again, sometimes when we are asked to draw lines of symmetry, our brain tells us draw exactly what we see. Uh, and that is not right. I want to draw the mirror image of it. Okay. So let's get rid of that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to draw two connecting lines that meet on the left and right-hand sides of the figure. I'm going to join the two at the top. And, of course, we have that rectangle that we were talking about before. Now... Sometimes the temptation is to try to uh, divide a rectangle uh, symmetrically uh, by drawing a diagonal line, like, say, 
this. And it feels like that should be symmetrical. Because if I look at the two parts in isolation, like so, they look very similar, right? And uh, you see how they fit together, like a puzzle piece. Uh, but that's not symmetry. Because if I were to fold a shape that was uh, this rectangle, if I were to cut it out in paper and fold along that diagonal, what would happen is the, uh, the pieces would overlap. One of the ways that we can tell if something is symmetrical, if you were to cut that shape out and fold it along that line of symmetry, nothing should stick out uh, from either side of the shape. Uh, all the pieces should overlap exactly. So this right here, where the line of symmetry would be, okay, if I were to uh, fold this shape right here over onto the other side, it would stick out something like this. Okay, so this corner right here would poke out over here, and this section of my my triangle would would not be overlapping the other parts of my triangle and vice versa. Okay, so there are some figures that have certain lines of symmetry, uh, but they're not universally symmetrical. Like say a circle, uh, you could take a circle and cut it any which way you want to, and that line and that circle would have basically an infinite number of lines of symmetry from any point. You could cut that circle in half. Very few shapes have that many lines of symmetry. Okay? Uh, let's look at one more. Let's actually take a look at number nine. So let's take a look at the instructions. It says the picture at the right shows one-fourth of a symmetric shape and two lines of symmetry. Draw the mirror image for each line of symmetry. Okay? So what we need to do for just a moment is we need to approach this part of our drawing here as its own shape. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a symmetrical figure on its left side and then another symmetrical figure underneath it on its bottom side. So let's try the bottom first. So again, I'm looking at the points of contact right here. As you can see, I've made a line segment that connect to uh, the point right here, and uh, I'm going to try to duplicate what I see he uh, above in the mirror image below. Okay, so I basically have this very obtuse angle, right? I've duplicated that here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy again what I see on the right and try to create a mirror image on the left. Okay. And as I create another uh, basically obtuse angle, you're, you're probably starting to see what shape I'm creating. So I'll let you finish the rest of that. It's a uh, the beginning of February here in virtual land uh, this year, um, but uh, it's not too far away from when you were probably uh, making paper snowflakes uh, uh, to decorate your house for the coming of winter. Uh, if you are in some a place where uh, they have snow at the winter time, um, so you're probably used to the idea of folding a shape upon itself multiple times. Uh, to create a symmetrical piece that will then repeat itself uh, throughout the design, okay? So the last thing you would do is, uh, once you have your completed figure, for, uh, number 10 says, find two more lines of symmetry, okay? Um, it feels like this is super simple, but it can't be tricky. Uh, so, of course, if you have any questions about symmetry or geometry or just math in general, uh, please talk to your math teachers. Uh, they will happily help you with anything uh, under the sun when it comes to math. That's their job. I hope this video was helpful, and until we speak again, have a good day. Thanks.